I'm using gems, I'm using Whittle, and I'm using Mineshed as the three primary sources of my mining softwares. The very first step for us to see if this project is economically attractive, we try to use Whittle. And we do use Whittle trying to optimize the cash flows for the existing projects. Uh, for example, when you try to define different cutbacks, and you're trying to break the large ultimate pitch shell into small series of cutbacks, it's very important how you divide the life of mine pit into smaller cutbacks. It immediately gives you the answer if this project is economically viable or not. We wanted to get into the underground production, gold production. So we did use Mineshed to provide us with detailed scheduling of the cut and fill activities under cut and fill operations and schedule and monitor the advancement of the existing declines and ensure that we stay on time and on budget. Late last year, uh, we realized by using Vital that the large open pit produces higher value to the company. So it does provide you with uh, scheduling algorithms and results for both underground activities as well as the open pit activities. You can use Mindshed to provide you with detailed breakdown month by month, week by week, to the level of details you want of different ore type and different waste materials you want to schedule and you're trying to define detailed cost profile based on the Mindshed calculations. GEMS probably is the most widely used software in the technical development group here in Centera. You can easily create different block models and run the standard in mining approach when you can create percent models. It helps you analyze all the data you have and place it all in one place. What I like about these three pieces of software like GEMS, Mindshed and uh, Vital, they're all kind of interconnected so it's quite easy for you to import, export data from one software into another, get the results out of Vital, export them back into GEMS, get the repeat designs or underground designs out of GEMS, export them into a Mindshed and get the production running. I'm just hoping that more and more people will eventually come to a single set of software so there are no other competing softwares around the world. You have one software, one platform and everybody is communicating using the same language.